Video opens to an ivory colored backdrop. Big bold text in red color reads, Sightless Living, All Content Copyright Symbol, 2021 2022, Sightless Living. All rights reserved. Scene changes to Anita of Sightless Living sitting at a table. She's wearing an orange active wear pant, red turtleneck sweater, orange active wear long sleeve top draped over her shoulders and tied at the neck, orange sunglasses, orange headband, red earrings, red lipstick, with her hair pulled back. Hi, this is Sightless Living. If you're new here, my name is Anita. And for all my returning friends, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thanks for the subscriptions. Today we are going to talk about morning readiness. I've been asked, what do I do in the morning for putting on my makeup and how do you carry it and things like that. So I'm going to give you some tips that I do and you could take them or leave them, but I find them very helpful and they work. So first of all, when I got my makeup collection, I wanted a bag or something to carry it in because you know, sometimes there's an emergency, you have to take a trip somewhere and it's kind of hard to try to remember everything like foundation and base, or maybe you have lotion in a different spot or deodorant in a different spot. So whatever you want to keep in your makeup bag, I like to have everything in one spot so I can just grab it. And usually when I get dressed in the morning, I work from that bag. So I looked all around, I couldn't find anything. And then I remembered I had a Mary Kay bag because I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. I started out with Avon. I did very well with that. I got a couple of awards. Then I went to Amway and I did some makeup through them. And then my last adventure was Mary Kay. And I bought the Mary Kay luggage. So it's this little piece here. And then it's a big rolling luggage. So I'm gonna show you my Mary Kay bag. I like it because it's nylon. If you spill makeup on it, lotion, whatever, it's very easy to clean. So I'll start at the top. It has a handle and it has a carry-on strap with a shoulder pad. And then we have pockets on both sides that are nice enough to hold bottles. I think they're about three inches wide when they protrude from the bag. When you have nothing in the bag and it's all tightened up, it's about a 12 by 14, but you get an inch up top after you zip things in the top. And it has four slide out plastic cover drawers. I find this very easy for my morning readiness bag or nightly readiness or whatever you want to call it. So the top has a handle and then the top also zips around. And then when you lift it up, you have some bags here that are Velcro and they zip. And I keep like squishy things in there like pads and things like that. Beauty blenders. And I keep like a makeup bag in the top. This is where you keep lipsticks when you sell your Mary Kay. And then I keep some palettes in here. And let's see what else I can feel in here. My powder is there. I also keep like bottles, little jars that I get from the counters. And then what I do with these is I just put samples in it from my makeup so I don't have to carry it. But this I carry because it has my essentials. So I'm going to zip that back up. And then the pocket over here closest to me, On the left. I keep my alcohol in a spray bottle and I keep my sunscreen. And it's easy to get to. And you can lock this by putting locks on it. The zipper pulls have holes so you can lock them or some people put cords through them and um, wire and lock it that way. And then over on this side, on the right, the other pocket, I keep like my, this is toner. This one is um, moisturizing, face moisturizer. And then I keep my uh, detergent for my brushes. I'm doing it backwards. So I'm gonna zip open the front and reveal my drawers. So I'll start at the bottom, because this is what I usually do every morning and night. So in my slot, first of all, let me show you how this bag was. I keep my 
cardboard that came with it. Okay, so let me just open this. First of all, the trays have a lid, they snap open, and they had six dividers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're very narrow, so it's hard to get stuff in there. So my top drawer, I have like my mascara and base. And I keep a sample in there, even though I have full containers, I keep a sample there to travel with. And then I have some eyeshadow base, and let's see what else this is. This is lip stuff. So I keep my lip primer and my lip scrub. And then this is eye pencils and eyebrow pencils. And then here is a lipstick I carry just for emergencies. Normally I carry coordinating colors and I keep an emergency sharpener in there. I braille everything. So I really didn't want to mess up the bag because it had six sections and I was selling it on eBay. But when I couldn't find a bag, I had no success after looking for two weeks. I said, forget it. So I had a sighted person cut the slots out. So in the bottom, I keep my makeup remover. Then I keep, uh, this is exfoliator. So that's a scrub. And this is my Chanel LeBlanc line, which I've been using for years. And then this is a spray um, hold for your makeup. And then this is the regular face wash. So I use the regular face wash every morning. And then I go over to the products on the side here on the right, which is the toner. And then I have the moisturizer. And sometimes I don't do this often, but I do the exfoliating scrub. And I usually do that at night. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning if my face feels a little slippery if I use a cream or something like that, but that's generally it. So I don't have to worry about that, forgetting or gathering that stuff together if I have to leave an emergency. Then the drawer above that, I have, let's see, I keep my brushes. So I have some random brushes in here. Now my full brushes are too tall, so I just throw my minis in here. So I keep a variety of minis in here, and then I keep an eyelash curler, and let's see, I have a little foam. I have a couple of these. They're like foam applicators. And that's that. And then the next one up, because I have three drawers, now I'm on the second one down. And I've had them all altered where if my makeup was wider, I had the, the um, divider cut out. So in here, I just keep bronzers and blushes and I have a corrector in here. And uh, let's see, yeah, blushes over here. So that's just basics. I have different kinds of blushes. I don't carry them all, I just carry the basics. And generally that's it. And then up the top, I already showed you, I have the mascara base and the samples. I carry a black mascara and the base for emergency. And then I have like the lip primer and eyebrow pencils and stuff like that. So I'm always ready. And then I always keep a palette or two up top. So if I forget to bring a color or I don't want to bring a color, don't have room, I always have palettes to mix and match. So oops, I'm messing up my tablecloth. That's how I get ready in the morning. I make sure I have my essentials, which is your face wash where you want to clean. And then if you want, you don't have to add a toner. I went without a toner for a long time and I added a toner. So you can put the toner on after you wash your face. And then after that, you can moisturize, protect. Before you start getting dressed, you use your SPF with primer. And I have that up here in my little makeup bag because I keep a little one here. So this way, if I have to throw it in my purse, I have it. So it's a little miniature bag. And in here I have my foundation, my base, and let's see. I think that's it, I don't have much in there. Then I keep them in baggies in case they spill. Yeah, I just have my, my primer, the base, and that's about it.
And that's what makes it quick and simple. And then I just pick it up. Oh, let me turn it around. You have your little band around the back that goes on side to side so you can slip it over your luggage. These straps are not removable, but they are adjustable. And it says Mary Kay on it, so I don't care. I used to do Mary Kay. And that's it. So thanks for joining me for this morning readiness. Now you see how I put myself together. I just take all my basic tools that I need, my basic products, and I do that because sometimes I have to run. So I'm going to run now, and I will see you next time. Be sure to click that button to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified each time a video is available. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great week, and I'll check you out later. Bye. Anita waves goodbye. Scene now changes to an ivory colored backdrop. Rolling credits appear in bold red color text scrolling upward from the bottom of the screen. Text reads, Anita, hostess slash visionary. TK, videographer slash editor. The rest of the text may be read in the description box below. Thanks for watching.